Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm here with my wonderful wife, Laura. And I'm here with my charitable husband, Nathan. And we're here for the $20 Starlight Foundation EB Games Mystery Box. We sure are. So every year around the same time, early September, um, EB Games does a special thing where you can buy a mystery box. Some are themed, some are totally random like this one. And all the money, or some of the money, goes to support the Starlight Foundation. Yes, which help a lot of sick kids. So we've got a $20 one here. Um, we actually brought a $50 one as well, but that sort of hasn't arrived yet. It was yet. shipped separately and didn't make it here yet. So, so um, yeah, we've got a $20 one. And usually they have a whole bunch of, like, unused promotional things, some old shirts and things, and a whole bunch of just really quite random things. Yes, they also sell out extremely fast. Yeah, I think they, they sold out of everything within 10 minutes. Yeah, insane. We were very, very lucky. Um, it was also totally random in the way that you couldn't even pick the size of shirt you got in here. So, if we have a shirt, no idea whether it's any use for us. Well, this one's a yeah. medium. Right. Oh. And looks like we have a Fallout themed shirt. Well, you'd be happy with that, that were not you? Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm having a peg. There's actually quite a lot in there. Um, there was like a minimum amount of items that you got in it, and I can't remember what it was. Um, but then they said like as well as extras on the side. So I think you had like you know a certain amount of main items. So there we go. That's it, essentially. There's nothing on the back, I don't there think. Is. There is. Oh, there is. Fallout, the Fallout 4. Fallout 4, which is quite old now, several years old. So I can see why they had these shirts still, but yeah. Yeah, it's a nice colour. feels nice and soft. Yeah, their shirts aren't cheap, usually, either, if you buy them like when they first come out. Um, we should mention, we have opened these boxes in previous years as well. They're up on the channel if you want to check those out. They usually come in like a special Starlight Foundation box, but this one's just, just a, regular a regular one. one. Usually yeah. it's like a, a sort of a purpley one with yeah. stars. Um, these are plant tags from Pikmin. Oh. Possibly a pre-order bonus for Pikmin 3 Deluxe on the Switch. Interesting. They're pretty cool. Plant tags. They are. Set of plant tags down there. Well, that's interesting. We have plants. We do have plants <laughs> and they do need tagging. They look thin though. They're very, very like well, flimsy. <laughs> they will not hold up against the wind. So we have Dragon Ball Z Warriors of the Universe, like the card game. I believe these are like just like card slips. So you can like oh, put your cards okay. in to protect them. I mean, that's... Yeah, obviously these boxes are random, so they're not not every item is going to suit everybody. And this is one that I don't find that useful personally. Yeah, so you can put your cards in, and they've got like a nice backing on the back. Great if you actually play the game, and you need some card slips. Yeah, you which get quite a few of them in there, actually. which I'm always in need of, to be honest. Car card slips for Dragon Ball Z. Just cards in general. <laughs> okay. All right, we have oh, Paper Mario, the Origami King origami sheets. Now I know what this is. Do you want to know why? Because you got it. Because as a I got I pre ordered the game, which I'm still on the fence on whether or not that was a good idea. But either way, um, yeah, you can make your own origami sort of characters. So these ones up here, I'm mm. assuming, are they. Should, can we open it? Are they. Uh, no? I wouldn't. This <laughs> looking at me it. saying no. Um, are they specific colours to make these? Uh, I vaguely recall, I think, yes, you yes. can make certain yeah. ones, yeah. That there's, would quite make a, sense. there's quite a few sheets in there. Well, so. that's very interesting. Origami paper is just useful in general, although with the. Um, characters on it may be really only useful to make those characters. Well, you know. Mm. Guess what, Laura? I also know what this is. Would you like to know why? Sure. Because I'm pretty sure in a previous year I got another one of these coins and I think it was a Morty coin. And now I've got <laughs> now a, you've a got Rick, Rick coin. Well. How, how like weird is that? Um, I like these coins. I'm a sucker for like little collectible coins and things, so that'll get to good use somewhere. Alright, I see something Pokemon, which means every member of my family is going to fight over it. <laughs> we have Snorlax. VMAX, Sword and Shield. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> You're right there. Sorry. <laughs> now, I actually got a folder that puts some, um, you can put bigger cards in, but I'm not sure if this is a big card that will fit in there or if it's one of the bigger, older versions. Either way, they look pretty awesome. We will have to check, won't we? Because you're a big Pokemon fan, as are both of our children. Maybe. Mm. Now, here's something I haven't seen in a while. Oh, Yokai. Yokai Watch. Um, so the 3DS games. I think there's a Switch game out in Japan. And these um, are the discs that you put into like the, the watch, like yeah, the toy watch. You put in a watch, and then they make different sounds depending on what disc you put in. Um, neat little collectible. Um, we had a watch at some point, but we got rid of it years ago, I think. Yeah. Um, I think. Did we review some of these on the channel at some point? Oh, uh, if we did, it would have been years ago. Yeah. Oh, something very small. Ooh, key ring. I collect key rings. Hyrule Warriors, yeah. Age of Calamity, Mystery, Mystery Guardian, Guardian key, key ring. Chain. Um, well, that's really cool. Looks like an egg. It does, yeah. Well, I like that. It's actually um, 
relatively heavy, it feels like, you know, a good weight, oh. like a metal rather than like a plastic key. I wonder if that was a pre-order bonus for the game too. I didn't get it, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, oh, really cool. Something in here for everyone. Ooh, more Pokemon. Uh, I think that's, that's it. That's our last item, yep. We have a Sword and Shield, like, mini card album. Oh, that's pretty handy. Oh, oh it's for the big cards. Well, okay. even better. <laughs> so, it's the big cards, but you only get a few slots in them. So, like I said, I got the um, 25th anniversary big album like this, and it comes with yeah. quite a few. One, yeah, you can fit a few in there. Couple of couple of packs of the big ones. And, and if, does that one fit, the other one? A, I would say yes, it does. Yeah. If I was to take it out, yeah, that would fit. Well, there you go. It's not often they have, like, I guess Pokemon stuff left no. over. You know, Pokemon's obviously but I reckon popular. a lot of this, like this one at the back of Snorlax, says it's promotional cards. It would have yeah. been with something, so. Yeah. They just, you know, have a few left over or people forget to give them out. <laughs> Oh, well, they're stuck on the sticky bits. I'm just trying to bring everything back in. So, so. For, for 20 bucks, you, 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 I mean, for, for a charity. Yeah, so. oh, and uh, the t-shirt as oh, well. Yes. I'm going to pass that back over. I mean, a t-shirt, a themed t-shirt, it's $15, $20 at most places. Yeah, unless you're buying it, like, on clearance or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm pretty happy. This box actually suits our family pretty well because we love Mario, Pokemon. Keychain. Yep, Key. and, well, you played Fallout, so. I really like Fallout yeah. 3. I don't have anything to play Fallout 4, though. Oh, that well, makes me sad. Still, I mean, you know, close. Close, as close <laughs> as I'll get for now. Yeah. Yay! Look it's what, here. Yes, look what else arrived. The $50 box, a day after we filmed the previous box you just watched. Yes, uh, yeah, so it's uh, the same type of thing as we mentioned, but just more. Um, it's quite large. We can't even really fit the whole box. It's probably on like, camera. what, 40 centimeters long and, you know, big, massive box. Pretty high. Like, it's, it's bigger than our hands. Yeah. <laughs> this is the $50 box, by the way. Yeah, we did say that. Um, so the minute we just took the tape off, it, it exploded. <laughs> and how about we show you why it exploded? Yeah, so there's a really big puffy item on top. I'm actually going to move the box away. There's also some air packets in there. Look, it's a razor cushion. I think they make like a whole bunch of like uh, computer accessories like keyboard and mice and things. It's their logo. And it actually says, uh, yeah, Razor, Razor THS, THS plushie. plushie. It kind of looks like the shape of a, like a poo emoji. <laughs> kind of. And it's got like the little snakes, snakes at each. every point. Yep. And it's in like a resealable bag. In case you want to put away your... Like your, it's mm. one of those little... Whoop, I can open it and I can close it kind of things. Really It's bizarre. soft, but it's quite a firm cushion. I mean, it, it's... It's a cushion. Yeah, I can, now we know why it's in such a big box. The rest, it doesn't really take up much room at all. How did I pull out? Yeah, take out some items. See, here we have a Toy Story 4 book, as you can see. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, so the Toy Story 4, it's a fear me, it looks like just a diary, notebook. notebook. It's yeah. a notebook, it looks like. It's got a little alien outline on every page, a silhouette. Hey, I'm... Sure, some people take it. We've got a lot of diaries and things. No, <laughs> notebooks and stuff. Our kids are always drawing and writing on always. something, though, so... Uh, Kingdom Hearts, what is this? It's just, oh, it's an oversized postcard. Ooh, that is a big postcard. Melody of Memories. Isn't that that uh, rhythm game on the Switch, I think, that came out recently? I think it's sort of based off. Wouldn't have a clue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with you on that one. All right, what else have we All got? Right, how about I pull something out? It looks like we have a T-shirt. Now, here's the funny thing. I actually own this t-shirt. I'm pretty sure I brought it on clearance Ooh. Yeah. a while well, let's, ago. Let's open it up. They obviously still had some left over from that clearance. So this that is got the, the Last of Us 2. So you've got... So it's all black. Has the name on there. And it's got like a little design. I haven't played the second one, so I'm not sure if this is the reference to anything. So sure, it just looks like a big moth. And what size did we get? This is a medium. Uh, which is what we got in the $20 box yeah. as well. Um, again, if you missed that bit in the video, we couldn't pick the size. No, it was random. Mm. And I think medium's pretty good. Better than getting extra, extra small or extra, extra large. Yeah, that's, that's true. All right, we have, oh, Pokemon things for you. Uh, what is it, Zagard? Zagard. Zagard. Uh, oh, it's yeah. sparkly. Yes, it's a holographic, oh. hollow, shiny, whatever you want to call them. It's a promo card, and I'm a pretty keen on Pokemon cards, so all the kids, so yep. that'll get a lot of use and enjoyment. 
All right, it's actually quite a lot of small bits and bobs in here. Oh, what oh, do you know? This looks familiar. <laughs> so we have another guardian key ring. Um, I think Laura mentioned there's probably a couple of like items which are duplicated up. I didn't mention it, but yeah, when, when you get these boxes and you buy kind of more than one, there's obviously a chance you're going to get the same thing. Nice key ring though. That's why we bought a 20 and a 50 rather than two of the same size, because we could have got identical boxes. Speaking of identical items. <laughs> yes, we have another like um, the jumbo size card album. Um, Pretty nice, and I'm surprised it took them so many years to get something like this out because they have had those giant cards in those big packs of Pokemon cards for a while. Hey, it's a different coin from Rick and Morty. So I think I've got all of them except this one. I'm not sure what this coin is here, but this is the uh, Pickle Rick. Oh. And it's um, like a bronze rather than like a silver or gold, I think the other ones are. So yeah, that's interesting. interesting. All right, well, I pulled out, oh, more plant tags from Pikmin. Pretty cool. And another Pokemon card. Jangmo. Yeah, specifically EB Games, this one. I think I might actually have this one. I think if you spent X amount of dollars at EB Games on Pokemon items, they gave you this card for free. So that's oh. pretty cool. Well, our kids are into it too, so it doesn't really matter if you've already. Especially our elders. Oh, so we have Dragon Ball Z. Oh, no, sorry. Dragon Ball Super card game Assault of the Saiyans. Series Science. 7 Saiyans. Saiyans. Super. <laughs> Series 7 Super Dash Pack pre-release, one card per pack. Huh. What's funny, I've got the original Dragon Ball Z trading cards from like, what, the early 2000s somewhere in the house somewhere, so... Hmm. Hmm. Well, less into <clears throat> those though than the Pokemon. No, that's probably the, the first like card got from Dragon Ball Z from many, many years. But speaking of Pokemon... Snubble. They this... must have had so many of these promo cards lurking around. So this one's um, a promo card based on like the Pe uh, Detective Pikachu movie, I believe, ah, which is why it looks more sort of real life. Hmm. Cause it's a still shot from the movie. There you go. All right, I think we've still got some more bits and pieces in here. Oh, we have Lego. Oh, that's cool. It's Edna Mode, I think, from The Incredibles 2. Well, The Incredibles 1 and 2, I guess. Yeah, but specifically, presumably your outfits from the second one. I wonder, what, that would have been that's probably cool. a pre-order bonus for one of the Lego games. I'm not sure which one. I'm not sure. Let us know in the comments if you happen to know. We love Lego in this house, we so that do. is awesome. One of our sons today was just having trouble finding um, minifigures to use for things. So, huh. hmm. Speaking of things they like, it's another Snorlax VMAX Jumbo card. So same as in the $20 box. So again, they must have had quite a few of those left over. That's really nice artwork. I really like that card. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, still, still more bits and pieces. Oh, number one hey. dad, or hashtag... One dad with a lightsaber is the number one, and it's like a little pin. Well, for, at least you're a dad. At least I'm a dad. That's <laughs> actually a really heavy pin. You wouldn't want to wear that in like a really like thin shirt or weigh your shirt down. That's totally something our kids would buy you for oh, like yeah, Father's for sure. Day as well. One so. of them brought me fake dog poo one year. That was cool. <laughs> oh, hey, we have more um, card slips. Card slips. Uh, Again, just like the $20 Dragon Ball Z box. ones. Yeah, always useful. All right, I think oh, last item. I know you're going to like this. Uh, Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. It's like a minute glass timer. That's pretty cool, like a little hourglass. Crash Bandicoot 1 was my first PlayStation 1 game I got, apart from the demo that came with the console. Mmm, there you go. Well, that's pretty cool. I think, I mean, again, we had no say over, like, the size of anything or anything that came in these. It was totally random. Um, but I think we got pretty lucky with both boxes. There's a lot of things that, like, you and our kids are into. We're, we're going to get used out of pretty much everything here. Yeah. And as we said at the start of the video, it's for charity. Yeah. So, you know, give to charity, you get a couple of cool things back, everyone's a winner. And a mystery is always fun. I wear suckers for that. <laughs> yeah. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below if you picked up one of these boxes. Doesn't have to be the, the total mystery ones. Maybe it was like the themed Switch one or Xbox or Well, I tried to get the Switch else. one, but they sold out in about 30 seconds. <laughs> and the $100 mystery box also sold out extremely quickly. I couldn't get that either. I didn't even know there was one. Uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, check back soon. We have videos every single Friday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.